What is going on, guys? Cody here, here to give my Elimination Chamber predictions. If this video gets 20 likes by 12 a.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday, I will do a live stream doing a live watch along of Elimination Chamber. If this video gets 20 likes, that'll be at 4 a.m. my time. So if you want to ruin my sleeping schedule, feel free to do so. But first off, we're going to get into these predictions. It's a very short match card, which has kind of been the case since Triple H took over WWE. And it's still going to be a good show, man. I'm looking forward to it a lot. Let's see. Let's get my big, ugly face a little bigger. But all right, guys. First match, we got Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, taking on the newly formed team of Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. It seems like Triple H wants everyone to lose the belts at WrestleMania. Like, Roman's not losing. Gunther's not losing. I don't think Judgment Day's losing. Like, Rhea, we'll get to her in a minute. But it seems like everybody's going to win the belts at uh, WrestleMania. The tag belts, women's, all that stuff. So, I don't see Judgment Day losing here. Now, this match, like, you know, Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne, they've had some pretty good matches. And I think the more and more they team together, the, the better they're going to get. So I feel like this is going to be like a surprise for most people. Even though I, I imagine everyone's anticipating it to be a great match. It's just going to be like after it's over, you're like, damn, that was a really great match, you know? Seth freaking Rollins and Cody Rhodes to appear on the Grayson Waller effect at Elimination Chamber. The real question with this is, do The Rock and Roman Reigns interrupt? And I don't think so, man. I, I know that's the thing everyone's expecting with this talk show segment, but I think it was just a way for them to get Grayson Waller on the street or on the show. And I don't think there was like any other reason behind it. Like, I don't think if anyone on the bloodline shows up, it'll probably be like Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa, especially after Cody Rhodes getting screwed over by them on Monday night raw and his match against Drew McIntyre. I could really see it being Solo and Jimmy instead of, Roman Reigns and The Rock. But, I mean, it'll just be a talk show segment. You know, it's going to be something we see usually on Raw, but instead it's going to be in front of like 70,000 people or however many people this stadium Australia holds. That's the other thing. This crowd, I bet, is going to be electric, man. Like, they're going to help carry that show. Like, you'll have good matches and all that, but the crowd's going to make it, like, even better. Elimination Chamber to determine the number one contender to Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, the World Heavyweight Champion. You got Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, Logan Paul, and L.A. Knight. Yeah! 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 I'm going to try to see if I can figure out who's getting eliminated first. I think I think Lashley goes first, then LA Knight, yeah! then Logan Paul, and Kevin Owens, and then Randy Orton gets eliminated by Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre just beat Cody Rhodes on Raw. The dude's getting an insane push. He's hotter than ever. Like his promos, I used to think Drew McIntyre cut the cringiest promos he has been on his freaking a game pretty much since he's just a natural heel you know like you know he had his moments as a baby face where it's like okay mcintyre's good you know like not phenomenal he's not like the greatest promo guy in the world but ever since he's turned heel i think he's more in his element his promos i think have been fantastic especially when he's going after cm punk you know like he's he's I guess the best analogy I can use is like he's playing like a player's contracts come and do, you know, like you're on a contract year and you want a bigger contract. I think that's what McIntyre is doing. He's on his A game and who knows, he's probably resigned. And like Sean Rassap and Dave Meltzer haven't heard about it yet. Maybe they're keeping it close to the vest, you know, but if McIntyre is not, man, he's sure playing his way into a lot of money. I say he's about to like get that Kirk Cousins deal, man. He's about to get something fully guaranteed. <laughs> and probably for more money than he's worth, even though like McIntyre would be a pretty big blow to the Monday night roster if they lost him. And 
you know, if you went to AEW or actually, I think McIntyre and TNA back in TNA. Oh man, that'd be fun. But that's not about, we're not talking about his contract right now. We're talking about him being the man to challenge Seth freaking Rollins. And that's what's going to happen. Elimination Chamber to determine the number one contender to the women's world title at WrestleMania. You got Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, who just made her return on Monday. Glad to see she's back. Naomi, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, and Tiffany Stratton. I'm going to try to guess the order elimination in this match, too. I think Tiffany's the first to go. Then Raquel. And then Naomi. And probably Liv Morgan. And you'll have a final of Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. And I think we know who's winning that one, Becky Lynch. And she'll be the one to challenge Rhea Ripley. I mean, they've been teasing it way too much. I mean, they've been teasing Liv Morgan to you know to be you know on her revenge tour and stuff like that i don't know if they were kind of like hoping she would catch fire like cody rhodes and maybe they would force her into the match like the fans but i i just don't think it's lives time i think the big money match is Rhea versus becky but this match i think might actually i don't know that that men's match is going to be pretty damn good but you got a lot of talent in this match the one thing i'm like the only thing is like Naomi being in this match and Tiffany Shred got Naomi who just returned to WWE and she's going to have to get pinned in this match, you know, because she's not winning it. So it's like she's coming back, but less than a month later, she's getting pinned. Same with Tif- Tiffany Stratton, you know, like she just debuted and she's about to take a loss and she's probably going to be the first one eliminated, you know. So I, I wish they would have put like Mia Yim and you know, other women in there that can afford to take the pins, you know, not two people that are fairly new to main roster television. Well, you know, Naomi's been on there before, but it's, she should be kind of treated like how Cody Rhodes was where Cody didn't get pinned for a year. You know, I think that would have been the smart thing to do with Naomi instead of in this match where she has to get pinned, but Becky Lynch is going to win and she's going to face this lady right here. Rhea Ripley. God, that's a scary ass photo taking on Nia Jax. Oh, man, Nia Jax actually has been doing amazing work since she returned. I think it's just because she's so naturally hated. But Rhea Ripley, it's in her home country. She's got a big money match with Becky Lynch coming up. She is not losing that belt. I think this match actually might be a sleeper to... I mean, the two chamber matches are going to be the best matches on the show. But I think this is going to be the match where it's like, oh, damn, that was really good, you know, and let Rhea show off some of her power. I. Yeah, you know, I'll I'll guarantee this. I bet you it's better than the tag match. But yeah, no way in hell Rhea's losing. And damn, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> what, four matches? Damn, I thought there was one more. Now, I wonder if this match is going to be the main event since it's at the top, you know? Because, I mean, I could see it being the main event just because the show's on so early in the freaking morning. They probably don't care what the main event is, honestly. And with Rhea being it being in her own country, I could definitely see it. You know, so there's a prediction for you. This match probably means main events. But guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Check out the train wreck podcast. Check out the Fortnite live streams I've been doing, man. Uh, those streams are a lot more fun when you guys are in the chat talking, you know, so hope you guys hop into those streams sometime, like the video, like I said, if you want to screw up my sleeping schedule more than it already is, freaking, uh, like the video, man, let's get to 20 likes, I'll do the damn live stream, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time, cheers.